One peanut butter and jelly for breakfast. You want some strawberries? You're welcome, buddy. Good morning. We're making breakfast. We're watching cartoons on YouTube. Having some peanut butter and jelly. Getting our day started. And today is a very exciting day because today is an unofficial American holiday because it's Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers will play the Kansas City Chiefs for the football world title because there's not really any other football leagues. I guess there is the CFL, but um, anyways, um, so yeah, that's kind of what's on the docket today. I haven't made a vlog yet in 2021, and today felt like, uh, uh, I don't know, felt like a good day to do it. So we're going to vlog, we're going to hang out. Probably play video games, probably eat food, watch Tom Brady maybe win another Super Bowl, and uh, catch up a little bit. Obviously, it wouldn't be one of my vlogs if coffee or espresso wasn't involved. Um, that's actually probably one of the things that's changed the most about my coffee habit in the last year has been I'm much less likely to actually brew a cup of coffee than I am to pull shots of espresso. Um, yeah, hmm. maybe I'll up my game this year and get a, a nicer machine, but the one I got now is working fine. It was like a hundred bucks on Amazon. Um, yeah, espresso doesn't have to be expensive. Tyler. I love you. I thought you were saving it. Cal wants to play Fortnite. I need to ride the bike. So we're going to put the two things together. And I'm going to play Fortnite while I ride the bike. Because I have this handy little... Uh, like game controller that goes on my phone. Um, it's made by Razer. I forget the name of the product, but it comes in pretty handy. And Fortnite is still available on Android if you sideload it. So, just pro tip. Hey, do you think I played well while I was riding the bike? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I think I died way too much. My performance on Fortnite while I was riding the bike was uh, was fairly abysmal, but I guess um, I really can't say I'm surprised uh, because, well, it's kind of hard to aim and shoot people and maneuver and build while you're also trying to move your body uh, in real life simultaneously. I am going to work out now. And uh, something I've been doing recently with my workouts is I've actually been splitting up my strength training into two different sessions, like two 30-minute sessions, one at the beginning of the day, one at the end of the day. And uh, I'm really liking it. Getting uh, same amount of volume, but much higher quality volume because my energy level over the course of all that volume is much higher. So my intensity is higher. Um, so yeah, 10 out of 10 would recommend. And trust me, I, I, I get it. Not everybody has a home gym and has time to make two trips to the gym. But as someone who is fortunate and blessed, to have a home gym and be working from home right now, it's actually pretty convenient 
to split the sessions up into shorter, more intense uh, sessions, especially with like high volume programming, which is what I've been doing lately, which just means lots of sets and mini reps um, for a given training session. It just, it works out pretty well. But I, but I get it, not everybody can make it work logistically, so. That's done. Also, please forgive my bedhead. I look insane. How are you getting rich over there on Animal Crossing? Turnips. You're buying turnips? I'm trying to find the chick. She's somewhere on the island. Kyla. What? You having some chicken nuggets for breakfast? He needs to deliver the greatest defensive performance in Super Bowl history. Weekend is performing. Back in the gym for uh, session number two that I talked about earlier. So I've been, like I said, I've been splitting my training up into two sessions. Um, we had a good afternoon. I redeemed myself on Fortnite. We we got some victory royales. Um, I wrote a couple of training programs for a couple of different people, and we made dinner. The first half of the Super Bowl is over, so I'm gonna sneak in this uh, workout over halftime. The Super Bowl is not going at all how I thought it would, also, although it is awesome to see Tom Brady. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's amazing. He's like 40 plus years old and he's just killing it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna work out and then get back to the Super Bowl. Just like that, workouts are over for the day. <laughs>